What if I told you that Huawei just flipped the global tech game again? In a move the US never saw coming, a secret AI chip factory has just gone live in China. It's powerful, it's fast, and it's completely out of Washington's reach. This isn't just about chips, it's about who controls the future of artificial intelligence and the world. So buckle up, because Huawei just crushed the rules, and the chip war may already be over. When the US blacklisted Huawei in 2019, many believed it was game over for China's most ambitious tech giant. Access to advanced chipmaking tools was cut. NVIDIA and TSMC were ordered to cease collaboration. But behind closed doors, a new kind of strategy was already in motion, one not dependent on the West. Fast forward to 2025, and Huawei has done the unthinkable. It has quietly opened a fully operational AI chip factory in mainland China, powered by domestic talent and backed by billions in government support. No US tech, no Western oversight, just pure Chinese engineering. The facility is reportedly producing high-performance chips based on 7 nanometers and even custom neural processing units, and PUs, optimized for large-scale AI workloads like generative models and smart infrastructure. So how did this happen? The secret lies in partnerships. Huawei didn't go at it alone. It tapped SMIC, China's leading semiconductor manufacturer, and launched joint development centers that worked under the radar. While Washington was busy enforcing sanctions, Engineers in Shenzhen and Shanghai were rewriting the rules of chip architecture. Instead of chasing three nanometers bleeding edge technology, Huawei focused on efficiency. Their new chips don't try to beat NVIDIA's H100 in raw specs. They optimize power usage, heat distribution, and edge computing for use in localized AI factories, 5G infrastructure, and even military-grade drone networks. The result? a chip that's good enough and entirely independent. It doesn't need ASML's EUV machines or ARM's licensing. This is self-reliant AI computing, born in China, for China, and now being exported to allied nations under the radar. And here's the kicker. The factory's capacity is scalable. Industry insiders estimate it could reach 2 million wafers per year by 2026. That's enough to power thousands of AI data centers, communication towers, and autonomous platforms without a single US-made component. In short, Huawei didn't just survive, it adapted. And now, it's quietly taking the lead in a tech race America thought it had already won. While NVIDIA dominates headlines with its powerhouse H100 and upcoming Blackwell chips, Huawei has chosen a different path. Quieter, stealthier, but potentially more disruptive. The new chip coming out of Huawei's secret AI factory isn't trying to beat NVIDIA in raw TFLOPs. It's designed to outmaneuver, not overpower. Let's break it down. At the heart of this strategy is the Ascend AI series, now reportedly upgraded with a custom NPU core, internally dubbed Phoenix. While official specs are tightly guarded, leaked benchmarks show a 40% improvement in energy efficiency over Huawei's own Ascend 910B with integrated tensor cores designed for real-time inference and edge computing. That's not just a technical achievement, it's a statement. Huawei isn't chasing NVIDIA, it's redefining what matters in AI. Here's what makes it different. First, it's built for autonomy. Huawei's chip is optimized to operate independently of US software ecosystems like CUDA. It runs on Huawei's own AI stack, including the MindSpore framework, a full-stack platform designed for machine learning, vision, NLP, and more. In other words, while NVIDIA locks developers into its ecosystem, Huawei is creating a parallel AI universe. Second, the chip is modular and scalable. Unlike NVIDIA's GPUs that require massive server farms and centralized infrastructure, Huawei's solution supports distributed AI, ideal for edge deployments in smart cities, telecommunications, surveillance, and military AI. This matters in places where power, latency, and national control are critical. Third, and most importantly, it's already in use. According to reports from China's National AI Committee, early versions of the chip are powering over 300 pilot projects across the country. From autonomous ports in Shenzhen to intelligent traffic systems in Chongqing. In short, it's not theoretical. It's live. And here's where it gets uncomfortable for NVIDIA. Many of these deployments were once their domain. Huawei's chip may not be faster, but it's faster to deploy, cheaper to produce, and completely immune to export restrictions. That gives it a strategic edge NVIDIA can't match. 
For Wall Street investors still betting on NVIDIA's unlimited growth, this is a red flag. Huawei is creating an entire shadow market for AI chips, a market that doesn't rely on the US dollar, doesn't depend on TSMC, and doesn't care about Washington's sanctions. This is the chip of the multipolar world, one that speaks the language of independence, resilience, and speed over brute computational power. So while NVIDIA continues to build bigger and faster chips for data centers, Huawei is quietly embedding AI everywhere, in places the West can't even see. And in this new, fragmented global tech economy, that might be the winning move. For decades, the global semiconductor supply chain has revolved around a few names. Intel, NVIDIA, TSMC, Samsung, and ASML. If you wanted to build cutting-edge chips, you needed the West. But today, Huawei's secret AI chip factory is proof that this is no longer true. China is flipping the script, not just with one company, but across its entire tech ecosystem. Let's start with the basics. Huawei's chip factory isn't just making chips. It's part of a vertically integrated supply chain stitched together inside China's borders. From raw silicon to packaging, testing, and deployment, the entire process now happens without crossing a single Western checkpoint. That's a nightmare scenario for Washington and a wake-up call for global investors. How is this even possible? It's the result of strategic duplication. Over the last five years, China has been quietly replicating every link in the semiconductor chain. Not with one-to-one -one replacements, but with good enough domestic alternatives. Design software? Replaced by local EDA tools like Empyrean and Xepic. Lithography? Instead of EUV, Huawei and SMIC are refining older DUV tech and compensating with software-level optimizations. Fabrication? SMIC has ramped up 7 nanometers and even experimental 5 nanometers production, bypassing TSMC. Packaging and testing? Handled by JSET, Tongfu Microelectronics, and other rising Chinese players. Servers and storage. Swapped with Huawei's own Kunpeng CPUs and Ocean Store solutions. What once took an army of global partners, Huawei now accomplishes with a national tech alliance and massive government support. The implications go far beyond Huawei. China is now creating an alternative tech world. A parallel internet, a parallel chip industry, even a parallel cloud. Everything from AI training to 5G deployment is being rebuilt for domestic survivability. And this isn't just about Huawei surviving sanctions. It's about China thriving without permission. This shift also hits NVIDIA where it hurts. NVIDIA has long relied on Chinese demand. Before the restrictions, China accounted for over 25% of NVIDIA's data center revenue. But with these new AI chips entering production, that door is closing fast. And not just in China. Countries aligned with China, from Russia to Iran to parts of Southeast Asia, are already evaluating Huawei's chips as politically safe alternatives. Meanwhile, Western firms are feeling the pressure. TSMC is racing to expand in Arizona, but still years away from meaningful output. The Chips Act promised a domestic chip boom, but the U.S. remains critically dependent on Asian fabs. It's a reversal few predicted. Instead of China relying on the West, the West may soon find itself struggling to catch up to China's independence model. And if Huawei's AI factory becomes the blueprint, we may be looking at a future where chip dominance no longer depends on cutting-edge specs, but on resilience, adaptability, and political alignment. That's the new supply chain logic. And it's as Huawei's AI chip factory scales up, US policymakers are scrambling to contain the fallout. But the question now isn't just how to stop Huawei, it's whether the US can stop the world from following Huawei's model. Let's break down America's response. After blacklisting Huawei in 2019 and expanding restrictions on advanced chip exports in 2022, Washington doubled down with sweeping bans on AI hardware sales to China. NVIDIA was blocked from exporting its A100 and H100 chips, forcing the company to create a weaker, custom China-safe GPU line, the H20, which many analysts view as an underwhelming stopgap. But here's the twist. Instead of slowing down Chinese AI development, these moves accelerated it. Cut off from Western technology, Huawei was forced to innovate independently and succeeded. Meanwhile, U.S. tech giants like NVIDIA, Intel, and AMD lost access to their largest growth market. NVIDIA's stock is still climbing, but cracks are forming, especially if Huawei's chips begin showing up in Southeast Asia, Latin America, or even Africa. Now Washington is trying a new angle, reshoring. 
billions have been poured into domestic chip manufacturing through the Chips and Science Act. Intel is building fabs in Ohio, TSMC is expanding in Arizona, and Samsung is investing in Texas. But all of these projects face delays, labor shortages, and supply chain hiccups. In contrast, Huawei's AI chip facility is already live, and it doesn't need to wait on global supply chains. And while US officials issue warnings about the risks of Chinese technology, the reality is clear. China isn't just catching up, it's carving its own path. As the world splits into tech blocks, your data is no longer just about privacy, it's about national security. If you're watching this video, you're already aware of how fast the digital world is changing. That's why protecting your online presence is critical, not just from hackers, but from governments, corporations, and geopolitical risks. I use NordVPN to secure my internet connection, encrypt my traffic, and access content freely, no matter where I am. Right now, NordVPN is offering up to 73% off. That's a limited time deal. Use the link in the description to take back control of your digital life, because in a world where nations are building firewalls, you need your own. Back to the big picture. While America tries to rebuild its chip foundation from scratch, Huawei is already moving to mass deployment. And the scary part for Washington? The US has no legal or technological leverage left to stop it. Export controls can't block what China no longer needs. Sanctions are powerless against a closed-loop ecosystem. And diplomatic pressure is losing weight as more countries see Huawei as a viable alternative, not a liability. The chip war isn't ending, but it is transforming. The question now is whether the US is prepared for a world where it's no longer the gatekeeper of innovation. Huawei didn't just build a factory, it built a future the West can't control. While the US focuses on sanctions and slow domestic projects, China is executing at scale, speed, and independence. The AI chip war isn't about performance anymore. It's about power, resilience, and who sets the rules for tomorrow's technology. If you found this video eye-opening, make sure to like, subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Where do you think the chip war is headed next? Because one thing's clear, the game has changed.